Hey everybody, Michigan Jackrabbit, we're back at you today here on YouTube. What's up? So, um, as you can tell, I've got a little bit of help with the camera. Um, holding the camera is uh, my student, Destiny. Don't look like that, shut up. I'll make you clean the truck again. <laughs> I'm not that mean. So, if the camera work is shoddy, blame it on her. It's her fault. So today we're going to go over hooking up. So I'm already backed up underneath of the trailer. Now, the only reason why my airlines are sitting on top of the uh, the catwalk is because I was just moving to another spot inside the yard. Dropped an empty, came over to my load. Don't ever drive down the road like this. Now, how I hook up my lines, come on over here. That's how I hook up right here. All right. Always have a pattern to everything. Do everything. Hook up your airlines how you're going to hook them up to your trailer. Put that one there. Blue there. Electrical on either one of these. It doesn't really friggin' matter. Red one there. So boom, boom, boom. Spin around. Blue. Now, make sure you lift this up. Push that all the way in. So that way, the little tabs meet. Okay? Same with the airlines. Make sure that, you know, there's complete contact right there between the two flanges. Also, you're going to want to check your, uh, your grommets here. Make sure they're not cracked, worn, or frayed. That's going to be part of your pre-trip test, by the way, if you go to, the, if you go to school. There we go, there's that. Now we're gonna walk around the trailer. Make sure nothing's busted, no holes in the side. All your rivets are intact. Turn signals are working, make sure there's no damage. Go ahead and pull the tabs for your, uh, for your tandems. I just do this because just to make sure they're not flat. Doesn't really make that big of a difference. Check your seal. Make sure that's intact. Make sure that it uh, make always make sure that your seal matches up with the paperwork because sometimes they will screw that up. Checking our hinges on the door, our latches, making sure they're intact. I'm gonna come back here in a minute and put on my lock when I go to lock my tandems back up. Check the lights. Well, we don't have any on the top of this trailer except for in the center. Those aren't brake lights, those are running lights. So make sure our four ways are working back here. Come along over here to the side. We're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure nothing's flat. Check them, make sure they're not worn real bad. Check up underneath the cross members. Make sure there's no broken cross members. Check our airlines going back. Make sure none of them are busted. Check our wing here. Turning signal working. Somebody rubbed up against a fucking uh, friggin' pole with that. Stupid. Landing gear. Make sure nothing's cracked, bent, dent, broken loose, or missing. Properly mounted and secure. Also part of your test. All of what I'm going over here with you is part of the CDL test. I'm just doing the abridged version. Why? Because I'm in a rush. Raise our landing gear. Now there's two speeds to our landing gear here at Swift. You have two different gear settings. All the way out, some trailers all the way in is low gear. This one, it's all the way out. There we go. So it moves slow. Gives you extra torque on the landing gear. In case you gotta lift up a heavy load. All the way in is your speed set, is your speed gear. Makes it go faster.
There we go. Now, next I'm gonna have Destiny go back there to the, on the side of the trailer. She's gonna film me sliding the tandems back. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. When you go to, instead of pulling forward and then backing up, having to move the shifter a bunch of times, I'm just gonna do it in one move. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the truck in reverse, I'm gonna let up off the clutch, build up some pressure on there, let off the clutch, the truck's gonna spring forward and those pins are gonna pop in. Then you just let up off the clutch again, back on up. That simple. All right, Destiny, you wanna go back there? Yep. plan turns out when I pulled the pit, pulled the lever, the pins came right on in because the load is that friggin light. Go friggin figure. So we're going to come back here. Yes, I know I've got two different keys because I have two different enforcer locks. Oh, wrong key. There we go. Now, properly installation of a lock. Take it, put it through the top, through the bottom, like that. Now, the way they got these set up, if you're left-handed, you can go the other direction. Just like that. So that's properly locked and secured. Now we're gonna come over here, release our locking levers, or our locking pins. Look down, check and make sure that the pin is through the hole. Otherwise, you're gonna suffer a tandem slide. You can be pulling up to a red light or coming to a dead stop in the middle of Memphis frickin Tennessee on the interstate and your tandems are gonna fly all the way back let me show you what can happen now this trailer happened to this trailer you see that right there that's a stop right there that's a stop bar your tandems come flying all the way back they're gonna snap that that stop bar right there and can even knock off your DOT bar. And then you're sitting there with your tandems out in the middle of the friggin' highway and the ass end of your trailer laying on the ground. Then you're up creek. Then you're up shit creek. Without a job, you got a ticket from DOT. Well, actually, you're going to have several tickets from DOT mounting up to thousands of friggin' dollars. Pay attention to your tandems. Always pay attention to that. This load is so light, I don't have to worry about positioning my tandems any particular place I can just slide them all the way up I'm gonna be legal because it's that friggin light now other loads if you're 30,000 pounds or more if you have over 30,000 pounds or more in the box 
You're gonna wanna... Bubba! Hush up! If you're 30,000 pounds or more, scale it. Plain and simple. Take it across the cat scale. Swift, Swift pays for your scale. Take it to a cat scale at a TA, Loves, Pilot Flying J, whatever. They'll, they'll pay for that scale slip. It's 11, 11 to 12 dollars, depending on where you go. Cat scale, it's 11, uh, what, 12 dollars, or no, 11.50, I think. 11.50 or 12 dollars for your first weight, and then uh, 2 dollars for every additional weight after that. So, you know, and download the trucker's slide calculator. You put in your different axle weights, it tells you, know, you put in the distance between the holes, you know, how many inches are in between each hole, it'll tell you how many holes to move those tandems. So think about that. Great tool. I use it all the time. Whenever I've got a heavy load, I always use it. And it has never steered me wrong. Plain and simple, it's never steered me wrong. Also, get yourself a tandem slide stop. Destiny, come on with me, I'll show you that. Oh, you might as well let Bubba get some screen time, otherwise some people will get pissed off. Say hi Bubba! Say hi to YouTube! <laughs> so, this is a tandem slide stop. You got one side with smaller holes on your, uh, if you got smaller holes. Then you got a bigger side with larger holes. Now let's say you use your trucker slide calculator out. Woo! Woo! Hey! Shut it. Let's say you're using your truck and slide calculator out. Hang on just a second here. There we go, windows shut now. <laughs> Anyways, let's say you're using your truck or slide calculator out. It tells you to move your tandems back seven holes. So you're going to take your uh, your, your slide stop, and the first open hole at the back of your tandems, you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you have the larger holes in your tandems, you're going to slip this in there. This is going to sit right there. Make sure that this little lip is sitting up against the wall of the uh, the hole. It won't fall out. You got the little lip right there. You're going to go up, you're going to pull your tandems back until they stop. This keeps your tandems from going too far back. Beautiful, beautiful tool. I haven't had the chance to use it yet because I just bought it a couple weeks ago. But hopefully I'll get to use it soon. Great investment. This one I bought at a TA for $17. And it looks like it's pretty well made at that. It looks like it's pretty good quality material. So, anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. God bless you guys. I love you guys so much. Like, share, subscribe. And remember, y'all, keep on trucking.